In the heart of the nation's capital, you're listening to a lean and hungry theater radio drama adaptation of William Shakespeare's timeless comedy, A Midsummer Night's Dream. By tale or history, the course of true love never did run smooth. If then true lovers have been ever crossed, it stands as an edict in destiny. Hear me, Hermia. If thou lovest me, then steal forth thy father's house tomorrow night, and in the wood a league without the town there, gentle Hermia, may I marry thee. The law of Athens yields you up to death or to a vow of single life. Come, my Hippolyta. Oh. No. Oh. How now, my love? Why is it? The more I love, the more he hateth me. This folly, Helena, is no fault of mine. None but your beauty. Would that something be? For Athens, I am thought as fair as she. But what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. Stand forth, Lysander. And my gracious duke, this man hath bewitched the bosom of my no, child. No. Be it so she will not here, before your grace, consent to marry with Demetrius. Oh, I, 